Hi guys, Mr. Newmobile here. iPhone 12 release date 2020 leaks. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Perhaps the most remarkable thing about the officially delayed iPhone 12 lineup is their relatively affordable prices. But now we know why, and not everyone will be happy with where Apple is making the cuts to achieve it. In a new report from acclaimed Apple insider Ming Kai Kuo, reveals that Apple will avoid the massive price increases impacting rivals by putting a squeeze on component supplies and downgrading the new iPhone's battery technology iPhone fans put off by Apple's downgraded iPhone 12 batteries, see below, now have a decision to make, with reports Apple will cancel its iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max models after the iPhone 12 lineup launches. While this repeats Apple's launch pattern in recent years, those who value the longest possible battery life look set to be disappointed by the new iPhones and left without a long-lasting Pro alternative. Apple is understood to be retaining the entry-level i50 dollars to $549, but anyone wanting a new pro-level iPhone with the maximum possible battery life may have to move now. My personal tip would be to wait for the iPhone 12 release and see if the new A14 chip can perform miracles, but it's a big ask. A fascinating update from prolific leaker hack to pro claims the A14 may just pull off a battery life miracle. The insider states that the iPhone 12 Pro Max and iPhone 12 Max, also tipped to be called the iPhone 12 Plus, will deliver battery life increases of 3H30 mins and 2H50 mins, compared to their predecessors, the iPhone 11 Pro Max and iPhone 11. Furthermore, the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro are set to deliver the same battery life until the battery reaches 11%. The leaker signs off by writing that the A14 chip is fire. These are remarkable claims and would be a truly stunning achievement, given how much smaller the iPhone 12 lineup's battery capacities will be. The only potential downside is Apple may have decided to curtail some of the A14's remarkable performance gains to achieve this. Breaking of sub-6GHC 5G technology in the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Plus will increase Apple's costs by $75.85, will the full fat millimeter wave 5G in the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max will add $125-$135. Such increases have added $200-$300 to the final retail price of phones like Samsung's Galaxy flagships. Bikuo says Apple will slash up to 50% off its battery costs, by moving the iPhone 12 models to batteries with simpler, smaller designs with fewer layers. The result looks set to be a circa 10% reduction in battery capacities across the range, compared to the iPhone 11 lineup. Given the higher power consumption of 5G, this is a puzzling change and places real pressure on Apple's superlative new A14 chip to pull off some power efficiency miracles. The lower capacities are also thought to be the reason behind Apple's decision to scrap the ProMotion displays on the Pro models. Moreover, while some iPhone fans may not for a cellular standard they cannot even receive, Apple looks committed to this process for the long term. Kuo states that Apple will go even further in 2021, moving the iPhone 13 lineup to a purely soft board battery design, which will cut a further 30 to 40 percent from costs. How this impacts their performance remains to be seen. Needless to say, this cost-cutting decision could be a deal-breaker for some upgraders, especially with the iPhone 12 range set to keep its big notch for another generation. That said, the aforementioned A14 chip could be a game-changer, their super-small and super-large new screen sizes will win new fans, the cameras are about to get a lot smarter, and they have a new chassis design that looks great. Then there's the fact Apple is going to beat rivals on price this year, and heard of them until recently took a half to wait and see his accuracy, but I wouldn't worry too much for now. He also advises that the cameras can be different to the renters we've seen the light sensor on the iPhone 12 is can be much smaller than expected. It can be three larger lenses with the light sensor smaller in the bottom right corner. Now any project supplies can be available a few weeks later, now no reason was given for this, but of course it's going to be down to the current outbreak, we've also had 9 to 5 Mac, forcing the iOS simulator to run at a resolution of 960x2079 and iOS 14, and it of course worked perfectly so. This further confirms that the smallest iPhone 12 is can be a 5.4 inch display note the shame I had to can be capable of 120 Hz, but applicant to disable it, and this just isn't true. I'm being told the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro till, it should not be a problem. So not to the upgrades the iPhone 12 is coming with improved cameras that was always to be expected last week, I told you guys in the periscope lens is not happening, is that and save it for next year's iPhone. 
This is iPhone 12 we still get some upgrades, Michiko advises that Apple moving to you, Samco and Sunny optical lenses, and they're introducing a voice, Coil Motors voice, and this is an improved stabilization, that uses magnets instead of the old, improve the autofocus as well. We had news of improved speeches, in the iPhone 12 which again. It was always likely that volume will go ahead and listen to that now we will see what news of Gorilla Glass Victors, which is an exciting new strength in class. This will help protect your device's display many blogs, and now citing that this is part of the iPhone 12 design, but I'm being told that it's not probably the iPhone 12 is not. Adopting this new technology would likely get have to wait for the iPhone 13 finally, with some reports from Microtech are now these are based on quotes from multiple Chinese suppliers, and the saying the 5G iPhones will be postponed until November the launch, will still be in September as expected, and this can be for all four models for we normally, see the release a couple of weeks after Microtech are advising that the LT iPhone 12, can go on sale in mid-October of salt. For now, but as soon as I get some more information, and update you guys right away. Unfor current rumor, but will 2020 be the year Apple finally gives in and replaces its proprietary lightning port with USB-C, as it did on it not, since that was a special case fast data transfers to and from cameras being a requirement of many digital creatives. And owners of lightning-based headphones and other accessories would be pretty ticked off and this is just can record the iPhone 12, is a 5.4-inch iPhone with lets to progress in the display, from Samsung is important to note straight, off the bat this to progress no means absolutely nothing. So don't get too caught up on that, but nonetheless, it can be an owner display with a resolution of 2348x1080. This gives us a 475 pixels per inch, and it's got an 8-bit color depth, with there have been rumors of almost having a 120Hz displays. Unfortunately, it appears that this model is only can be 60Hz, is can be equipped with 4 gigs of RAM, and it can come with the choice of 128 or 256 storage, it's got an Armenian frame, and of course, is the Apple 814 Bionic chip with 5G support the iPhone 12, is coming with Joe cameras on the ray, and it will, of course, be shipping with iOS 14 for those that want the 4 gig of RAM, with 128 storage, is launching a price of $649, if you want to upgrade it to the 256 gig iPhone 12. 12, and it's 750 next up with the iPhone 12 Max to be clear, this is the Max, and not the Pro Max the iPhone 12 Max has a 6.1 inch outlet display, this again is a super retina, it did not pass the quality assurance test it comes with a resolution of 2532, what by 1170, this gives us a 460 pixels per inch and again, it has an 8-bit color depth get 4 gigs of RAM choice of 128 or 256 storage, and of course the iPhone 12 Max is powered by the 14 Bionic chip is. Armenian frame 5G connectivity uses actual camera setup on the rare for those that want the 128GB iPhone 12 Max is going to be launching at a price of $749 for those that want the 2560 version, that in the price rises it to $849. Next up the iPhone 12 Pro, also has a 6.1 inch, display with actually the same size as the iPhone 12 Max, we do have an improved display in specs, the iPhone 12 Pro 61 inch Super Retina, owner display with promotion and 10 bit color depth display, is manufactured by Samsung, and has a resolution of 2532x1170, giving us 460 pixels open unconfirmed and there are few people, saying this may not happen, the iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM, and a choice of 100 128, 256 or even 512 gig storage. It of course ships with the Apple 14 Bionic chip, set the iPhone 12 Pro, is 5G compatible. It comes in a stainless steel frame, and on the rear we get a triple camera setup, along with the lighter sense of adapters, for the 128 gigs, iPhone 12 Pro it can be $999, for the 256 it's 1099, the 512 gig iPhone 12 Pro is can be $1299. Last but not least we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7 inch outlet display Again this is Super Retina display And hopefully with promotion get a 10 bit color depth And of course it is manufactured by Samsung to the resolution of 2778x1284 This gives us 458 pixels per inch Again, we expect and hope it's can be a 120Hz promotion display, but there are few 28 256 0512 internal storage has got a stainless steel frame, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course powered by the 814 Bionic chipset. 
This does have 5G support just like the iPhone 12 Pro. We get three cameras in the rear, along with the lighter sensor. For those who want the 128GB iPhone 12 Pro Max, is can the launch at a price of $1,099. If you have the 2560 version. It's $1199 and for those that want the most expensive in the range, the 512 iPhone 12 Pro Max can be launching at a whopping $1399, and what is, of course, important to note that these pricing leaks came very early on from John Prosser, is provided plenty of accurate leaks, but also got some of similar to the last Worldwide Developer Conference as always, though, if any, more information comes to light. I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts, in the comments was excited for the iPhone 12 launch, and you think we'll get a 120Hz display, enabled in the software. Well have been said, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you.